uh, I've got a problem. And that's that uh, I keep buying motorcycles. But the bigger problem, as discussed in the previous video, is I keep buying, well, I keep getting people to join the sport of motorcycling because I love it so much. Surely everyone else will love it as much as, as well, as much as I, I do. Oh shit, where am I gonna park? I have no place to park. What the fuck? <laughs> It's not really fair that I'm riding this because this is not my bike. Well, it is, but it's not really the point. Uh, this is Heather's bike. Um, it's not fair that I'm riding it simply because she should be the one doing this intro. But unfortunately, she doesn't have her license for another two weeks. <laughs> so until then, it's my bike. Uh, one of my concerns with the SM50 GS on the interstate, which I didn't get to do yet, was the amount of road noise coming up from this ultra large opening here. Um, other than that, I mean, brand new, uh, gas tank is full, 215 mile range. I'm going to get up here on uh, the boat ramp and take some pictures and some video for you guys to kind of talk about the process. In my opinion, uh, we're going to open it up to Heather in a separate video. Uh, for now, I just need to, uh, I've got four appointments tonight starting at 6 PM. So I just need to get this done and get back to work basically. But this just came today. So quick to shift, downshift. There you go. Sounds nice. Has a nice twin sound to it. Yeah, it's three fucking people. Now we'll go right here. That's where I usually do my spot when I get new tires. The kickstand is ultra short. But this is a low suspension model. Well, let me shut up actually and just do the video. All right, so I don't know who these cars can see me, but I'm gonna talk to myself for a few minutes here. This is the um, BMW F750 GS low suspension. Uh, it's unmistakably low suspension because there's no center stand. That's usually the giveaway. Um, the second giveaway is if you go over to the other side, you'll notice that there's no ESA reservoir mounted right here with the uh, ZF logo. Instead, you have a preload adjuster right there. You can turn it and uh, it will lift up the back of the bike to account for any extra weight. So Heather will have to go through a sag exercise where she would measure the bike without any weight on it which is kind of hard again because there's no center stand. And uh, then we measure it uh, unladen, then measure it laden into the math and figure out how much preload to add uh, to account for that. Uh, brand new, 41 miles. Uh, no, no, sorry, 251 miles. It's technically a demo bike, so uh, we got it for, we got five, we got $1,000 off MSRP. In addition to that, um, six months extension on the warranty. If you buy a BMW, at least in North America, and you opt to get a demo model, you get an extra six months of warranty. So it's a 42 month, uh, right? Yeah, 42 month warranty versus a uh, 36 month. Isn't that beautiful? This is the Austin uh, metallic yellow color. It's an extra $100 for the yellow fairing. Uh, that also includes black chrome magnesium wheels. Um, this is the premium package and comfort package. What that means is you have um, Shift Assist Pro. We'll go through some of the features. You've got the quick shifter right here, highly exposed. Very uh, GS friendly of them to have the quick shifter so damn exposed. Your coolant lines are running alongside the edge of the bike. Um, total shitty um, pegs and brake lever and, sh and shifter, but whatever. Um, you also get with that the rear luggage rack, which which fits with uh, the OEM luggage bits. It's plastic though, of course. Needs a tail tidy, of course, as well. Uh, you get this uh, kind of chrome stainless steel muffler with that package. Then here is our just completely mediocre brake pedal. These pegs do have a, uh, yeah, you can pop these off if you want, right? 
No, you can't. You cannot pop those off. Okay, so that's stuck there. So there's not a rally style foot peg. Uh, also with premium, you're getting the heated grips, the driving modes. Uh, you're getting the LED headlight right here, which is nice. Good visibility at night. I haven't compared it to the GS1200 yet. Uh, you're also going to be getting the TFT uh, screen right here. So, which is what you all know very well at this point. Uh, also with premium, you're getting cruise control, which is cool. All the buttons and stuff, everything works just like it does. Normally it does. You can go through your modes. For the 750, there is enduro mode, but not enduro. There's no pro modes on the uh, on the F750. Only the 850 with the 21-inch wheel has the pro modes. Uh, keyless ride as well for the premium package. There's your steering damper right there. It's not a progressive steering damper. It's uh, it's linear. I guess the best way to put it. And you've got your power lid right here. Uh, this windscreen is non-adjustable. The F850 GSA windscreen is adjustable, uh, but this F750 is not. But the mount point's the same, so you could put an F850 GS Adventure windscreen on this, I think. Don't worry, I've already ordered uh, a new windscreen for touring. So here's kind of some profile shots. It comes with the Anarchy 3 tires. Wet weight should be around 475 to 500 pounds. Has this huge resonator right here. This is not the catalytic converter. The cat is actually, looks like it's under here. Ow, that's the cat, right under here. Uh, this is a massive resonator that, uh, it makes the slightly improved sound of BMW's new parallel twin uh, quieter. So this is something to eliminate if you want to, a really cheap fix. You can keep your OEM headers, you can keep your OEM can, and you can buy a Remus um, resonator eliminator, and it's a very cheap way to get a little more sound out of this twin. Uh, the, the motor is famously made out of China. This is a Chinese motor. Uh, the F850 and the F750 share the exact same motor. The biggest difference is uh, tuning, and I believe different cams, but the, uh, the actual displacement is identical for both of these. So I guess this is kind of the technical overview of the F750 GS. Unfortunately, it is unfortunate that if you do a low model, the two things you can't have, center stand and ESA for the low model. Um, SW Motec via Twisted Throttle does make a low suspension center stand, so that's something that you may want to get. Uh, and also, this is the low seat, which is a special order option. So low seat and low suspension. You can see the cutout there. It actually, I hear, it actually works with the GSA racks. And it looks like it would. And I've got an extra set of GSA racks at the house. So I could um, conceivably mount my R1200 GS Adventure racks on this bike, but <laughs> you know me, I've already chosen a different direction. Now look at the way the, um, the double-sided swing arm is organized here. As you come up, you've got a little mud guard right there, and you've got the shock termination right here, right at the top of the swing arm. So it's pretty high mounted. When you look at this from the other side, you've got a nice mud sling right here to keep mud off the back of the bike. Uh, Puig makes a really nice uh, change up for this in carbon fiber, by the way, that comes all the way up and kind of carries up over the rear tire as well. Let's see how that mounts. And then you look underneath it, it's unmistakably a GS as long as you get rid of that damn resonator right there. You've got a nice ground clearance for being a low suspension model. Uh, this, this takes three quarters of an inch of height off the standard height of 750. Then you've got your beautiful, thank you EPA, um, EVAP canister right there. You could delete that if you want to, but you're supposedly breaking a lot of federal laws if you do that. I will say that uh, one thing that would be nice to do is get some kind of part that covers up the quick shifter, personally. It'd be something I want to do. Um, so this is pricier than the base model F750, but it's not the exclusive model. The exclusive model adds like a big GS print on the front fairing. It goes gray and black and it adds gray wheels. Uh, everything is mostly the same. The frame is black throughout, which is nice, but I kind of wish the, uh, the stamped crankcase covers on both sides 
or uh, black as opposed to metallic. Um, it's going to be a separate video where we actually talk about the modifications this GS is going to get. And that's a video that I'm happy to lead, but everything I'm doing to this bike with Heather, she's actually doing a lot of the stuff herself. So she's doing it with me more like more, more appropriately. Um, everything that we're doing to it has been kind of discussed at length with her to outline the pros and the cons. Let's take a look up here. So this looks, there's the damper hidden there and the radiator guard. It comes with a nice plastic uh, piece here for the radiator guard. That's pretty cool. Looks like it's um, some T25 Torx, two on each side to remove this piece. So if you want to replace it with a metal radiator guard, you could, but you don't really have to. But I will. <laughs> um, but no, we'll do a separate video in regards to actual modifications. But isn't she a beauty? Isn't that a gorgeous bike? So let me get some beauty shots of it, and then I'm going to go to my next few meetings. Uh, this is completely Heather's bike. It's too too low for me. It's not too small for me. It actually has a lot of pep, but uh, it's too low for me. So this is her bike. She's building it out to her specs. Um, I actually advised, <laughs> I wanted to advise against a GS for her because if she ends up falling out of love with motorcycling after a year or two, I can ride this, but I've got to lift it and I've got to put a high seat on it. And I don't really need another GS. And also, we want spoke wheels. I mean, the price of converting this to a machine that would work for me is pretty high. So I was hoping to convince her to get something that was more of a scrambler, but I did make it her choice, and uh, and she she chose a good bike. LED tail light, but not LED turn signal still. All right, I'm in the video for here because everyone stares at me when I'm making videos. Uh, congrats, Heather. You know it's a bright colored bike when the mosquitoes are landing on it. Congratulations, Heather. Happy for you. And uh, it is beautiful. Really, really, really beautiful.